welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm currently at home isolating as I have COVID, um, although I am coming out of it now. Um, but it means that I can't go and see any of my clients at the moment. So hopefully you guys are going to benefit as I bring you a couple of extra videos, hopefully this week and next week as my daughter has just tested positive as well. So looks like I'll be in the house a little bit longer than I anticipated. So. Um, today's video is about different trousers and how to style different trousers. What type of top goes with what type of trousers and when would I put a tight top, when would I put a baggy top. Um, but just remember that this is my opinion, this is my information gathered from years and years of styling the everyday woman. So it's not high fashion styling, it's the cyber styling that most of my clients require which is either going to work running after children, going to the shops maybe, supper party, coffee with friends, that type of styling. Press so. that subscribe button then I would be really grateful. Um, how it works is the more people that subscribe the more videos that I can bring to you. It's as simple as that. Oh I am thinking as well of doing a YouTube live uh, whereby you could just all ask me questions um, and I can be here in the studio, pick items off and hopefully just be a bit more interactive. Um, in order to take part in that you will need to subscribe anyway um, but let me know in the comments box if that's something that you are interested in and if it is then watch out and I will message you all to let you know when that's taking place. Now I'm afraid I had to do a voiceover over the video because I continued to cough throughout all of the filming which I know wasn't going to be very pleasant for all of you but maybe actually you prefer this way of filming anyway. I certainly talk less which can only be an advantage so do let me know in the comments box whether you prefer it or not. But let's get started. Starting off then with these faux leather trousers from Zara and it's not a good look on me. The chunky boots are cutting my calves off making my legs look a lot shorter and the dark tight top is very dated. Um, the colours are very stark as well and I'm just not feeling this look at all. We could pair them with this black wool blazer from And Other Stories which does do something to help balance out the chunky boots on the bottom but I suppose it's not really the type of styling that I personally like to wear so let's change things up a little. So here we've just put on a cream fluffy jumper from H&M. I'm now adding some boots from Marks and Spencers and a great belt from Amazon. I think it was only about £15. It allows you to create a knot um, around your waist and is adjustable to any size. So I use this belt in styling quite a lot. They, this belt also comes in the brown. I've linked it in the comments section below. The gilets from Reese, it's quite old, but again, I've linked a more current gilet that I've also got from Mango, which would go with this outfit just as nicely. Here we can compare the two looks. One looks very dated, the other one a lot more sophisticated and I've been able to balance my figure out with the use of the gilet and the boots on the bottom. So next we've just added a long wool coat from Cos. This allows us to create a much longer, leaner look and the tonal colours all help to elongate the frame. It's a very sophisticated look but yet a very casual one at the same time. The boots are just some short ankle boots from Zara. Um, I don't know if you can see but they sort of dip down at the front. That also helps to elongate the frame further. So next we've just swapped the boots for a pair of trainers, making sure that we're showing our ankles as they're one of the slimmest parts of our frame. All the neutral colours are going really well together and the shorter boxier jacket is helping to balance out the chunkier trainer on the bottom. But there's no reason why we couldn't put this look with the same long overcoat from COS that we were wearing um, in the last frame. I think it produces a really nice casual yet still sophisticated casual look. 
next is a look that I see time and time again. It's a very mumsy look. It's a flat round toed ballet pump ad added to a wide leg trouser and tight top. It screams mumsy and just looks incredibly dated, especially paired with this light colored top that um, is actually very bad on my skin tone. So overall, a really unflattering look, but this can be changed so easily by the simple addition of a white trainer. Straight away, that changes the look up completely. For me, like I say, I don't like the color of the top against my skin tone, so let's see what changing that does. Well the colour's a lot brighter and definitely suits my skin tone um, better um, but still hung out like this is still a no-no because we've got baggy on top, baggy on the bottoms. So let's start by rolling up the sleeves, that helps the waist look smaller and also shows some flesh and your wrists and then we've just done the normal tuck in. What a difference that makes from the original flat ballet pumps and cream tight top. Next compare a pair of dark boots or these could be dark trainers with this look and it looks very workmanlike. It doesn't look fresh at all. You only have to compare the two pictures here to see that the trainers make the outfit really bright and fresh. So definitely not a good look going on here. The dark jumper against the white trousers is um, very stark. The boot cut trousers are way too long to be wearing with these chunky, heavy boots. And overall, it's incredibly unflattering. We could tuck the jumper up and that's going to make the legs look longer. We could roll the sleeves up so it shows our wrists. Um, that sort of makes the waist look a little bit slimmer. Um, but what I would do is add a neutral tone shoe, preferably a pointed one because that's going to help elongate the legs further. But as you can see, just tucking the jumper up, adding some neutral shoes and shoes with a heel on that allow the jeans to fit better changes the look considerably. Adding a jacket on top does help to balance the dark top out. I think that overall looks probably the best combination so far. Um, but personally, I'm more of a fan of tonal colours together. However, adding the bag in again, that complements the top. So that once again helps to balance the outfit out. And another option is to bring back the gilet from before. This does a great job with the belt on of balancing the frame. It's been, the belt is nipping me in at the waist and then it's allowing the shape of the trousers to really be seen. That flare is really flattering, especially if you've got shorter legs um, combined with the neutral shoe. It's really going to elongate your frame. Now, here I've added just a cream fluffy jumper to the same trousers and added a brown belt from Ralph Lauren. Uh, this is just to show you that you don't have to go as far out as a fluffy gilet, but just a normal casual jumper makes that outfit look really nice and sophisticated. So adding both of the coats to the same combination, personally I think the shorter one goes better because it's not interfering with the flared shape of the trouser. However, there's no reason why you couldn't wear a long coat like that. Um, I'm just being a little bit picky from a styling point of view, but I think both go really well and the tonal colours are great. Okay, so this is a great example of how not to style up your wide-legged baggy trousers, especially ones in a flimsy fabric like this. The dark, heavy boots are literally too heavy for the outfit. Um, as too is the jumper, it is made a little bit better if we tuck it in, but generally speaking, um, it's not doing much for my figure. The smallest part of this outfit would be around my waistband, so that's 
what we want to show and I also want to lighten the outfit up a little. Just because it's cold and winter out in, here in the UK doesn't mean that we have to dress dark and drab and as you can see here just a simple adding of some white platform converse which gives me a little bit of extra height and a crop jumper shows off my um, smaller waistband. You don't have to go cropped on the jumper but it's just a shorter jumper you might want to just tuck in. It just shows off the the slimmest part of my frame and helps to balance out the whole outfit so it's not overwhelming a smaller frame. And here's just a quick comparison of the two looks for you. I further develop this look by just adding a leather jacket. This is only £80 and it was from eBay and it's been a fantastic purchase in my wardrobe and just helps to give this look a little bit more of an edge to it. Next we have a faux leather cropped trouser and it's all about the shoes with the cropped trouser. The Flat round toed um, ballet pump doesn't really do anything on my frame as it makes my legs look a lot shorter, um, especially with the jumper hanging out like that. I'm probably best to put it with a mule or a black sock boot or maybe even a trainer. And hang, keeping the jumper hanging out like that as well creates quite a few lines in the outfit and makes my legs look a lot shorter. So here I've just done the normal half tuck just to give me a little bit more shape. And here I've added in the same jigsaw trainers that we've seen before. Again, showing the ankle on a cropped trouser can be really flattering because obviously it's a very slim part of the frame but so too could be a black sock boot. The thing about a sock boot is that it's tight around the ankle, so the ankle still remains slender and slim. If you've got a wider, chunkier boot around the ankle, then it's generally going to make your legs look wider as well, especially when, when worn with a cropped trouser like this. So for me now I've got some height and I'm not wearing a flat, I think I can probably afford to leave my jumper out for a much more relaxed look where when I had the flats on I felt like I needed to tuck my jumper in to give me a little bit extra leg length. But then again I am only 5 foot 3 and if you are naturally taller then perhaps you don't need to worry about this element. Here we've added a coat again, but this time we've put on the chunky boot at the bottom. Now, again, I think the round toe of this boot and the chunky nature, as well as the coat falling at exactly the same leg length as the flare, doesn't do much. For me personally, I can get away with the chunkier boot if I've got a shorter jacket on, as the length of the coat, the trousers and the shoes aren't all at the same level. But here I've paired it with some nice strappy sandals for more of a going out look, a smarter coat and for me this is how I would wear a crop trouser in the evening and how I think a crop trouser probably suits my frame a lot better. A neutral colour court shoe would also go really well with that outfit and would help to elongate the legs even further. So this next look is a look that I see all the time with many of my clients. They pair a what is now very trendy boot cut trouser but they pair it with a very flat shoe, rounded toes and a tight top. All of these elements together just make the outfit look incredibly dated and will very much age your styling um, beyond belief. There's no reason why you can't pair this sort of look with a fresh pair of um, boots that's going to give you a little bit of height. It's not a huge heel at all. And if you're tall enough, you might not even need the heel. But just keep it simple. Add on a plain white t-shirt. This one is from Jigsaw. A little bit of jewellery and you cannot get any more classic than that. The little heel on these um, boots have allowed the jeans to fall better so you can actually see the shape of the jeans which now balances out my hips. 
add on a modern oversized blazer to really bring this look up to date. And if the oversized blazer isn't your style, then just go for a slightly more tailored one like this one from Zara. So next we have the tight legging, um, or faux legging in this case. So at the moment I've got it paired with these boots which are cutting my legs off. The tight top is, whilst it's flattering in terms of it shows my shape, I just think it's a really old fashioned way of styling. Um, it doesn't look modern at all. So in order to change this up a little bit, I would always add a long coat or a long cardigan. And this is where I can now afford to put a chunkier boot on the bottom. Um, basically most of my figure is hidden by the coat anyway, so it's the overall look that I'm looking for, but the boots make it really practical for going out on a rainy, cold day. Equally, I like to add a baseball boot or a, a converse high top, I should say, to this look. I just think it gives it a modern twist. And again, I could only do this because I've got a long line over it. If you're nice and tall, you probably don't need the long line. Um, but I certainly do to create extra length in my frame. Next up, we have a split hem trouser. These are just from Marks and Spencers, but you can get them everywhere now. You can get the splits either at the front or at the side. Um, just make sure with a split leg trouser that you're wearing them really long, as long as you can possibly get them. Um, that way it will really help elongate your frame. And we've paired them with a strappy shoe. Now the reason I've done that is because the whole outfit is fairly dark and I want to show some flesh somewhere on the body, um, especially because I've got the blouse done up to my neck. So by showing some flesh, it just helps to break that look up a little bit and make it look less dark all over. As soon as I pair this look up with a dark boot, like here, you'll see the whole outfit looks a lot darker. Now we could counteract that by opening the blouse up slightly because it's just one that you tie up on the neck, so that is an option. But to me, it still feels quite heavy. Um, it is an option though if you're going out in the evening and the weather's bad and you don't want to be in a strappy shoe, then I'd say a black boot does work. Um, but just be mindful that you're not too dark on top Thank as well. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you have learned a few little styling tricks. If you could hit that subscribe button, then please do so and put any comments that you have in the comment box. I do try and get back to um, everyone as soon as I can. And I will see you next time. Thank you.